So hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how the JSON theme for Power BI looks like so you know before you purchase, okay? And there are a few things that you need to be aware of, so I'll show them to you here. First of all, when you open the file, you can use either Visual Studio or Notepad++ or whatever note editor that you want. I use Visual Studio because it's beautifies the JSON code, makes it easier. And I also have installed a plugin called Collapse Level. I have a video on that. I'll post it down below so you can see it on the same base place that you found this video that allows us to collapse the JSON file and it makes it easier to work with. So if I click Alt F2, you see that it collapses everything at the level two. If I click Alt 1, it collapses to level 1. It just makes everything much, much easier to work with, actually. And then you can go level 3, level 4. Super useful. Now, things that you need to be aware of. First of all, these settings here apply for the entire report. Same for the text classes, same for the visuals all the properties that are on the visuals on the star up here, okay? So whatever you have in here, it will override the settings, uh, the default settings. But if you, for example, here I have the title specified on the visual styles, and then you specified on any of the visuals here, they will get overridden by the ones that are, for example, here on the bar chart. If I open it and I go to title and I write a title, I put something in here, it will override the general settings. So you have to be aware of that, general settings, local settings, so you don't get confused when you're doing the changes. Now, with that said, you see that I have a lot of properties with an underscore. What that basically means is that I've specified the property in there, but it's not enabled. So it is a way to have all the properties listed without actually having them doing something. So a lot of the properties in this file are disabled. So if you want to enable, you just remove the underscore there. And also there are in different levels. For example, here I have disabled it, the background color. So you have to also be go here and remove it. So you have to be a little bit aware of what is enabled and what is disabled. But it is a beautiful way to actually list everything and have everything available. So when you want to use it, you don't have to write anything. You just modify what you need. Okay, that's one of the great things. Now, I have 29 visuals specified in here. There are 156 properties. And there are, you'll see here, this is these are the visual, this is the label, and then level four is the properties. So you have everything you need to modify this. Now, this JSON file together with my theme guide that documents this makes doing JSON files very, very, very easy. So I hope that this file is useful for you. Now, if the file is for Kerbal branding, but if you want to use it as is, please go ahead, no problem. Even if it's for your own company, if you like what you see, go ahead and use it. I'll be perfectly fine with that. So now that you've seen how the file works, I'm going to show you very quickly how you can get it. You go to curva.com, then you go to shop and download. And here you will get the three downloads that are available. You have the complete JSON file, the JSON guide on the JSON file, and then the JSON guide. So you can buy it separately or you can buy them together. You just click add to cart and then you will um, you go through the checkout process as always, buy it. And once you have it, you will get a link on the on your email. But because you have updates throughout a year, if you go here to register my account and you are logged in, you have to be logged in and you go to downloads, you'll find the downloads for the products that you purchased here. And then here you have when the download expires. So you will be able to come in here and download every time I upload a new version. New versions will be updated on the Power BI blog 
here on the blog, on Kerbal Blog, but also on my YouTube channel. So if you're a subscriber, you'll probably see when I do new updates. So if you want to get it, just kerbal.com, shop, downloads, and then you'll find all the products in there ready for you. So I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.